he will break the yokes. He will break your yokes. He will break your chains. That's the title. He will break your chains. Paul and Silas found themselves in prison. They were imprisoned and put in prison. They were put inside of the inside of prison. Where you like it to where condemned prisoners are kept tight in order for them not to escape. While they were there, they started worshipping and praising God. As they were worshipping and praising God, the Holy Spirit came down and when the Holy Spirit came down, it broke every chain that was limiting them, shook the earth and broke, opened the doors. People will say it's earthquake. It's more than the earthquake. It is the Holy Spirit's power. No sooner has that happened to them, they were able to save someone who would have killed himself. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will save those whom are about to kill themselves. When the ch your chains are broken, those who have in mind the plan to kill you will find themselves coming over to beg you. I prophesy to somebody listening, to the listener, you listener, that because the Holy Spirit has come and broken the chain, of suffering in your life. People who have vowed that they are going to kill you will beg you in the spirit realm to just go. They will beg you with money. They will beg you with blessing. Their own kind of blessing. Until you are so rich and I am so rich in such a manner that we will be flabbergasted as a result of the fact that the Holy Spirit has broken our chain. He did it for Paul. He did it for Silas. did it for so many other people. It is your turn and my turn right now. If only we worship God and praise God, the Holy Spirit will come into our lives, setting us free from sicknesses and diseases, from worry and anxiety, from anything that you never think you will ever get yourself into because you've made up your mind to love Jesus Christ. And he will come to you in the power of the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost upon you will set you free. Breaking every chain that the devil has chained you with. Remember there was a woman called Mary Magdalene. She was chained by seven spirit, evil spirit. But when the spirit came into her life as a result of her contact with Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ made sure he did everything he could and doing everything he could, she was set free. Like Mary Magdalene was set free, God is going to set you and I free. When he sets you and I free, he will make sure that when he resurrects or comes back to the world again, it will be you and I that he will meet. Yes, Jesus Christ, when he has spoken the chain of our life, he will come into your life and come into mine. When he appears again, it will be you and I that he will first meet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Count on the Spirit who breaks, breaks, chain, chain, chain. Holy Spirit, come upon our lives and break, break the chains that the devil has tied us with, and making us all free that we can now preach, 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 preach the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost. Oh, God Almighty, I just feel like the devil should be brought right here. Let me squeeze him. Let me blow him. Let me conquer him now in the name of Jesus Christ because when the Holy Spirit comes upon you he sets you free uh, you're no longer afraid of anybody uh, you can do so much that people will get afraid of you uh, most especially those that are in the kingdom of the devil oh God Almighty we bless your name in Jesus name oh God